Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to talk about the death of Bobby the Brain Heenan and how it synced up to the helicopter crash that Shane McMahon was in on July 19th. And I'm going to talk about gematria in this video, which is the practice of coding numbers into words. I'll leave a link in the description of what I'm talking about so you can get a better understanding of it. But every single day, we get media stories coded this way. We get people dying by the numbers. Our sports leagues are coded by the numbers. Our history is coded the same way. And, you know, people get ritually sacrificed for certain things. Just like this guy, for whatever the reason, he died synced up to the plane crash of Shane McMahon. And let's just start off by showing an example of how the WWE is synced up or what has been previously synced up to certain events, such as in 2016 when the Cleveland Cavaliers won the NBA Finals. If you remember, LeBron James, after they were down 3-1, to one, LeBron James wore the Undertaker shirt and Cleveland was trying to break their streak of not having a sports championship for 51 years and whatnot. LeBron James wears this Undertaker shirt. And remember, and then after they won the NBA Finals, he wore the Ultimate Warrior shirt. And if you recall, the Undertaker was undefeated until at WrestleMania until Brock Lesnar beat him. And then the next day, we got the death of the Ultimate Warrior. So the streak was broke, and then the Ultimate Warrior died. And that's why LeBron James wore this Ultimate Warrior shirt. And... Just to show you even more, in Gematria, the Ultimate Warrior's real name is James Brian Helwig. That equals 168 in Gematria. And Cleveland, and he died 69 days before his birthday. And Cleveland Cavaliers equal 168, and the small way they equal 69. And think about who beat the Undertaker to break his streak or whatever. It was Lesnar. Lesnar equals 69 in Gematria. Ultimate Warrior dies 69 days before his birthday. LeBron James wears the Ultimate Warrior shirt that all of a sudden they start ruling. And it was also, the Ultimate Warrior also died 9 months, 23 days after his birthday. Which is interesting because LeBron James in Jewish Gematria equals 923. Let me show that to you really quick. 923. and the previous year, we had a bunch of stuff synced up to the Pope in 923 because of the Philadelphia train wreck as well that happened at 923 p.m. Remember, LeBron James was in the movie Train Wreck that summer that begins with Amy Schumer's character is nine years old, and the rest of the movie takes place 23 years later. Train wreck equals 122. Pope Francis equals 122. Golden State beat him that year. Golden State 122. Kansas City, 122, won the World Series that year. Pope Francis came to America on his 923rd day as Pope. He went to the White House the very next day at 9.23 in the morning. That's how CNN reported it. It was the 266th day of the year. He's the 266th Pope. It's all synced up by the numbers. All of these things happen for this way. So, you know, I, I just wanted to show you an example of that. And there's way more to it. I have tons of videos. You can search for it on my channel. I'll leave a link to this blog. You can come and search LeBron James or Ultimate Warrior. You'll find a bunch of other information that I have on here in regards to it. You know, WWF wrestling or whatever, they even had like when back in the 80s, they had the Twin Towers versus the Mega Powers. And then they say the Twin Towers are going to come crumbling down and stuff like that. There's all kinds of, you know, symbolism that they've been using all throughout their history. You know, Hulk Hogan was in the NWO, the New World Order. You know, one more quick example I can think of off the top of my head when I mentioned Hulk Hogan was Earthquake. Remember Earthquake broke his ribs and whatever else? Earthquake, 107. The guy's real name, John Tenta, 107. All, through, all throughout, you know, wrestling. Big Boss Man, I can't remember his full name. Whatever his name is, it equals 143. He died 143 days 
after his birthday or before his birthday. I mean, just tons of examples. So now we're getting the death of Bobby the Brain Heenan. And his name in Gematria and the reverse method equals 51 and in the small way equals 48. And he is known as the WWF announcer and manager. WWF manager equals 48 and 51, just like Bobby Heenan. It all also equals 111, the big way, and his birthday was 11 slash 1, a lot like 111. Just the word wrestler equals 48 and 51 in the reverse reduced, just like WWF manager, just like Bobby Heenan. WWE equals 51, announcer equals 48, just like his name. So fitting for what he did in the WWE. Now we're getting the story of him dying on 9 slash 17, and Shane McMahon was in the helicopter crash that happened on 7 slash 19, the reflections of each other, 917, 719, you know, it's the backwards way. And this is really important to these people who are making this stuff happen by the numbers because they love the as above, the so below, the opposite stuff. And I'm, I'll just show another example. It's all based back on God. That's why our alphabet is 26 letters. God equals 26. But notice God, 55 in the reverse way. The word heaven equals 55 in the normal way. God equals 17 the small way. And in the reverse way, Hell equals 17. So it all goes back to that. As above, so below. The Shane McMahon story was also all about 51. Shane McMahon equals 51. He was in a helicopter crash. Helicopter equals 51 in reverse. It crashed in the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean equals 233, which is the 51st prime number. And it was near Gilgo Beach that's in Long Island or whatever, Gilgo Beach equals 51. And it was synced up to WrestleMania 33, and in WrestleMania 33, Shane McMahon lost to AJ Styles. It equals 51. And in regards to WWE equaling 51 and all these 51 connections to wrestling and whatever else, remember when Cleveland won the NBA Finals that year and it was synced up to the Ultimate Warrior? Cleveland hadn't won a sports championship for 51 years. Cleveland equals 51. They play in Quicken Loans. Arena, Quicken Loans equal 51. LeBron James equals 51. The, the Cavaliers even went and visited Donald Trump at the White House on November 10th, the day that leaves 51 days in the year. There's a bunch of stuff synced up to the Martin Lawrence show and whatever else where it's like, I think the radio, Channel 51. Tons of 51 symbolism around all that. So the WWE was perfect to show us about the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the NBA Finals that year. Anyway, I noticed that the Shane McMahon story on July 19th was 60 days before Bobby Heenan died. And if you write out 917, the numbers that I'm talking about in the, they're the reflections, 9, 1, and 7 equals 60. And they died 60 days apart. And the day that they died, both have 917 in them. Or 719, you know, it equals the same thing. Shane McMahon, with the S exception, equals 60. Bobby Heenan, in the reverse method with the exception, also equals 60. And interesting, too, July 19th, most parts of the world, they're at 19 slash 7. And that's like 197, which is the 45th prime number. And... Bobby Heenan dies 45 days before his birthday, and if you recall, Donald Trump, before he became the president, was at the Iowa State Fair, and he told a boy that he was Batman in the helicopter. Helicopter equals 51. Oh, what was it? Batman equals 51. Even, there's all kinds of stuff with Batman. Heath Ledger equals 51. He died, you know, in connection to Batman. And, but anyway, during that time of Donald Trump being in the helicopter saying he was Batman, there was all kinds of Batman stuff going on in the news. Morgan Freeman's granddaughter died and they showed him at the premiere of Batman or whatever with her. That was the main picture. And the guy who dressed up like a Batman went around to hospitals. Batgirl died or whatever. The lady, Yvonne Craig, who played Batgirl, she died. 
And not that long ago, not that long after, a couple months later, we got the story of the guy who created the Batmobile dying, and some kid who met the Pope was wearing the Batman shirt. And I mean, just it was Batman galore around that same time. But the reason that I'm bringing all that back up is because Donald Trump, the 45th president, his Republican National Convention began on July 19th of 2016 in Cleveland at Quicken Loans, where the Cavaliers play. So, you know, I, I'm documenting this story because I know that there's going to be something else that's in connection to this story in the future. And because I don't have it completely figured out what the purpose of it is yet, but I guarantee it's going to come back up in the future and it's going to be something connected to Donald Trump in regards to all of this WWE stuff. Or possibly even John McCain, because I, what is it? McCain equals 45, or it's John McCain equals 45, Mike Pence equals 45. So important this guy died 45 days before his birthday, and it's synced up to this helicopter crash that is synced up to Donald Trump. Hopefully that makes sense. I know there's a lot to it, but that's how these people do things. That's how these things sync up, and... If you understand this knowledge and you get a better understanding of it, you can figure out a lot of other things that are, you know, coming up in future events and whatever else. I also pointed out that not only was it 45 days, it was one month and 15 days before his birthday. And Shane McMahon's birthday, January 15th, 1 slash 1 5. And then Bobby Heenan dies one month. 15 days before his birthday. This number is big within Freemasonry. Freemasons equal 115. Scottish Rite Freemasonry equals 115. The last thing that I pointed out in this post was that the brain equals 41, his nickname, and he died on September 17th, which in most parts of the world they write 17 slash 9. 179 is the 41st prime. The brain equals 41, dies on a date that syncs up with 100 and, or the 41st prime. And I've been documenting this number 261 like crazy, and I don't know exactly what it means, and I've been trying to figure it out. But it's something that is synced up to, I don't even know. I, I really don't know for sure what I'm supposed to see with this number, but I just keep randomly seeing it. And I document how, I've talked about how we live in this coded world, and there are just people who understand this knowledge a lot better and are using it to rule over us. And that's why they kill people by the numbers and everything else, you know. But pinky in the brain equals this 261 number that I've been talking about. And last night, right after I posted this about pinky in the brain, I went and I got on Facebook and I was scrolling down. And of course, there was a pinky in the brain meme. And... I have no idea what it means, but, you know, what do they always try to do? Try to take over the world? It just makes you wonder. If you, you know, that's what people are using this knowledge for, to take over the world, right? Try to take over the world and everything else. So, I documented, too, like, what they always say. The same thing we do every night, Pinky, try to take over the world. That equals 261, just like Pinky and the Brain. And I, I documented what the meme actually said. It said, same thing we do every night, Pinky. Hookers and cocaine. That equals 232 and 511. Which is interesting because Satan equals 232 in Jewish. And Saturn equals 511 in Jewish. And all of this goes back to Saturn. Saturn's cube. It's the time that we're all locked in, you know. The belief that time is linear. And all of these numbers, I believe, go back to Saturn, who is the keeper of time. Also, in regards to try to take over the world, just think about that in regards to what we're always told about Satan. Satan is, you know, trying to be like God and take over God, try to take over the world and everything else. 